Good morning, everyone. Happy Sabbath. I hope your day is beautiful, splendiferous, and everything that goes with it. I want to talk to you about something special today. I want to talk to you about cleaning products. Now, I know you kids probably are like, cleaning products? Pfft, that doesn't sound exciting at all. Well, this is not Windex or uh, any other cleaning supply like that. No, these are personal cleaning supplies. Let's say you use the restroom or you've come in from playing outside and your hands are dirty. Yuck. So you go and you get some soap and you wash your hands and make them smell all pretty and um, they're all clean and you dry them off and you're ready for a snack or lunch or even dinner. Perfect, right? I think so too. And then let's say you are outside playing and you fall and you get a boo-boo on your knee. And oh, it just hurts and it's bleeding and oh, you just feel so terrible. So mom or dad comes in with their handy dandy hydrogen peroxide and they put some on a cotton swab or maybe um, a piece of uh, toilet paper and they clean up that wound really nice and then they put a band-aid on it and to seal up that wound to make sure it stops bleeding. So that's another good cleaning supply, right? And then let's say you are done eating dinner and your mom tells you to go brush your teeth and you're like, my breath doesn't smell that bad, does it? But mom's like, you need to go brush your teeth and do not forget to floss because flossing gets all those gunkies out of in between your teeth. That's a good thing. So you floss and then you use your toothpaste on your toothbrush. Make sure you get it all foamy and, and make sure you're mouth suds up a lot with toothpaste and then when you're done spitting it out and rinsing out your mouth with water then you can come in with mouthwash and that makes sure that it gets everything out of your mouth and your mouth is all minty fresh and uh, I think this one is coconut lime I really like that one so these are all the things that you can do to keep yourself personally clean. But you know, I was kind of wondering, do you think that hand soap is going to keep your soul clean? Or that hydrogen peroxide will do the same thing? Yeah, I, I don't know if, if soap will keep my soul clean. I don't necessarily want to eat it. That doesn't sound appealing. And you're not supposed to drink hydrogen peroxide. That's not good for you either. But there is one thing that does keep our soul clean. You want to know what it is? I'll tell you. If you open up your Bibles to 1 John chapter 1 and verse 9, and it reads this. It says, if we confess our sins, he meaning God or Jesus, is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So the only way to have a, a clean soul is to ask God to cleanse us because we can't cleanse ourselves with hydrogen peroxide. We can't cleanse our souls that way. Oh no, it wouldn't work. But if we ask God to cleanse us from within, to cleanse our hearts, and to cleanse our minds, then we are righteous with him. It's so beautiful. So I ask you today that if you haven't done so already, to give God your heart and let him cleanse it for you and your life will change so much. It is such a beautiful thing. Sorry. <laughs>
Anyway, I hope and I pray that you have a beautiful and cleansing Sabbath.